percent of value at Ripple, we're thinking much bigger than just cross-border payments. It's kind of like Amazon with rare books in the early days. Just this market happens to be a $10 trillion market. We are at a historic turning point. Said in the past that you are doing for money what email did for communication. It's moving the whole revolution forward. Got it. There's trillions of dollars parked around the world. RP. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, 12 hour script. Let's get right into today's video. What a time to be alive. It's like we're watching a movie. We got cargo ships taking down bridges. We have the SEC pursuing Ripple for $2 billion. Yes, you heard that right. Yesterday, the SEC filed its motion for remedies and entry of final judgment. And what they state and some of the information and evidence they show in this is pretty funny. You don't want to miss this. And let's get into and cover Baltimore for a moment. This is pretty tragic. Take a look at this video. Baltimore, Maryland. This is the aftermath. This is the day after. It happened at 3.20 a.m. So it was dark when it happened. We'll get into the clip as well so you guys could see it. But just look at the size of this thing and, and look at... The amount of, you know, civilians that died in this political event. In my opinion, this was not an accident. The amount of cargo ships that go through this uh, on a daily basis is a lot. This bridge has been standing for a very long time. And for something like this to happen with the events that just took in Moscow and, you know, what's, what's going on in the world right now, folks? We are going through a transition and 99% of the people have their blinders on. We're going through a transition to the new financial infrastructure. And while that's happening, you have a new Mr. Jeffrey out there running around. You have cargo ships taking down bridges. Uh, take a look at the nighttime. Uh, as you can see, I do apologize. It wasn't, two, it was. It looks like it was 1.30 a.m., not 2.30. But the cargo lights go off and then it comes back on. And then it just makes a heart right and just goes right through it and as you guys could see i guess they're watching them with the light over there they're like oh my goodness what is going on they're probably calling for sos and boom i cannot but i saw this at night woke up to get some water and i i thought it was like anime or from a movie scene not until i woke up the next day and realized this was an actual real event and here we have uh, some ground footage, uh, a picture that was taken from a civilian. Uh, but this is very, very huge. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. In my opinion, this was 100% political. There is more to the story. And us conspiracy theorists, you know, I mean, the truth will reveal itself eventually. But now let's get into the SEC's filing. This is disgusting because they're asking for $2 billion, which I'll show you they're writing but that is so much money to go after ripple because but last year the sec charged 16 wall street firms with record keeping failures which is by far worse way worse than what they're saying ripple did 16 wall street firms were charged 1.1 billion all combined not just one, all 16 of them combined totaled $1.1 billion. Now they're coming after Ripple and they want $2 billion. Why? It doesn't make sense. So it says defendants shall satisfy this obligation by paying $1,950,768,364 to the Securities and Exchange Commission within 30 days after entry of final judgment. And the only reason why they're stating as such a large value is because they are very, very sour. Because, listen to what they said here. If companies can raise money with the ease that Ripple did, by simply receiving billions of units of computer code that cost a little to nothing to create, and then turning it into billions of dollars, without registering these transactions with us, and providing... Their disclosures, of course, we're going to charge you $2 billion. There is no way. This is pretty much what they're saying. They're saying there is no way you made some magic internet money 
and you sold it for billions of dollars. Oh my God, this is a, I got my hand on my face right now. I'm doing a face palm. Look at Ethereum, look at Bitcoin. You got whales with half a million Ethereum just sitting there valued way more than billions of dollars. These guys are a joke. They're pissed off. This is this is all political. This is nonsense. If anybody thinks what the SEC is doing here is right, no. It's 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 by far from doing the right thing. And one of the evidence that they provide, so the SEC officials that get paid six figures or more every year, uh, the lawyers, whoever put this together, put some evidence of Brock Garlinghouse tweets and some of the replies that it got. And look at one of the evidence that they compiled here. I mean, this is just, this is, I, I, I have nothing to say. Uh, one of them, uh, it says casually walking through town after holding XRP for years. And here's him holding his nuts. And not only is XRP not a security, it it grows nuts as well. I mean, I, were, were these guys laughing reading through these, you know, comments and replies? Um, but this organization is a joke. This whole lawsuit is a smoke show. Uh, a smoke screen, sorry, not a smoke show. Uh, but like I said, wait, that's all I got to say. I may sound stupid right now, but when XRP is at double digits, triple digits, I won't be. People said I was stupid for ICP, said it was debt when I was calling it at $3. I, to I, I, I told you guys all, I gave you guys the heads up. Um, the ones that took action, you were rewarded very handsomely, just like the individuals that took action with Soul Chat. With the markets even taking a dump, Soul Chat is still holding up. So everybody is still in profit. Same with Elizabeth Horan. I told you guys about this coin at three cents. Even with the major dumps, it is still holding up and everybody is still in profit. And like I've stated in the past, I will never advise you guys of a coin which I don't think is going to provide some sort of return. I want to be able to sleep at night. And I sleep perfectly at night knowing that all of my audience members are in the green with crazy market retracements. But don't be holding these forever. Okay, these are quick flips. You make the money, you get out. Not financial advice. Do whatever you want to do. If you think it's going to go higher, hold it. If you don't, just don't lose money. Same with Obima. Obima, look at this. Everybody said it was going to zero. It was going to zero. Everybody has a very small time vision span, it looks like. And everybody wants that quick money. Uh, that's what I'm seeing from some of the comments because some people comment, oh, Bima's going to zero, blah, blah, blah. Just wait. I mean, this thing's only been out for not even a month yet. Whoever accumulated here and actually listened, you guys are all, all doing well. With that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below by the SEC's decision of wanting $2 billion just because Ripple created magical internet money and they're pissed off that they made billions and they didn't because they can only make a couple billion. They got to get all the firms together, right? They're going to get at least maybe 30 firms to make $2 billion. But Ripple, digital money will take $2 billion. But again, nothing set in stone yet. We'll see what the judge says. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And we will be back with another video. We started building RippleNet with the thesis that crypto liquidity would eventually be able to support robust global payments, large payments. RippleNet was designed so that customers seeing the benefits of our fiat-based network could flip the switch to ODL once the market was mature enough. And this is exactly what's happening. Flip the switch. <laughs> I think what we're building has, you know, it's solving a real problem. And I think all of the tokens, my advice to anybody would be understand the utility. If there's real utility and there's real value being delivered to a real customer, there will be value in the token.